I'm Christina Norton and I'm 25 years old and I'm a mom of three kids. I live in Kempville, Ontario. Many people don't know that there are hundreds of homeless people in Leeds and Grenville. Um, a lot of them are located in Brockville. Recently I've been making them care packages and um, giving them out to them and then that led to smaller care packages um, for the methadone clinic to hand out and the employment and education center and then after that then I decided I wanted to make a whole bunch of uh, Christmas baskets for them um, so I team together with the community and with a friend to put on a Christmas lunch for them in Brockville uh, where they will get the the Christmas baskets. Uh, the community has helped a lot with donations for them. Um, there's been lots of people who have given monetary donations, so money or gift cards, and my house actually became like overflowed with donations of things like deodorant and socks and gloves and cellophane wrapping paper and stuff like that. So actually the church let us use a room here so my house isn't <laughs> full of this stuff. So my kids can still play now. <laughs> and then also the, the young adults are gonna help wrap baskets tonight. And then Glow, the Southgate ladies, are gonna help on Wednesday as well. I think a lot of people want to know uh, why I ended up wanting to help the homeless. And uh, I was homeless myself about four years ago and I struggled with things like addiction and uh, suicide attempts. Um, I also lost my oldest daughter um, during that time, mostly because of the suicide attempts, but I ended up becoming homeless. And I remember how horrible it is to be alone and heartbreakingly sad. And um, just how like you need that little bit of love, even though everyone at the time kind of hates you and sees you as a failure and you see yourself like that as well. Um, so I remember how sweet it was for someone to come up and like help me with anything like hot chocolate or being able to go into the church and warm up a little bit and um, all the people that took care of my daughter at the time. Uh, I ended up getting out of it and I have my daughter and two other kids now. Um, thanks to God and the community and the church and my grandparents <laughs> and my family. But since then, then I've wanted to use all of those horrible, sad feelings and uh, have God use me for good in other people's lives and give them a little bit of happiness if I can. If I had one dream out of all of it, then even if I could just help one person feel God's love, and be able to come out of that deep sadness, then, then I'd be quite happy with that. Right, hey church, with our uh, Open Road series, we uh, decided to take on an Inspire project, and we announced it this past week. And so do you wanna, like, what, what, what are we trying to do here? Um, well, we're trying to uh, work with uh, somebody to uh, kind of help them out with their transportation needs. We're looking at uh, what that might mean as far as giving a car away. Yeah, and so and we decided the, the car, we, we got it. We decided which car we're going to give away and, uh, and it's right here behind us. And so it's a nice uh, red, whoa, whoa, ben, uh, ben, it's a red is, Jetta. This is my and, car. Which was generously this, donated no, 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 by no, no, Kevin. No, 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 we're not giving this car away. This is my car. This is my car. So we, we, we don't know exactly what this is gonna look like, but we wanted to bless someone and, and kind of do something as a family, uh, as a church family, and uh, to honor God and help, help a family out. And so uh, we would invite you to give, give generously. This is a, this is a you know, secondary kind of offering that we're taking. And uh, you can text to give if you want, you can give. We thought we would be able to sponsor a bicycle. Um, and last week, if you were here, you would have heard that we are a little bit beyond that. So today we are at $26,000 to be able to bless a family in our community with a vehicle and 
oil changes for a year and some gas gift cards. So there's still time if you want to be part of this. Hello, my name is Ann Farbo and I've been coming to uh, Southgate Community Church for the past three years, albeit within the COVID limitations. But um, the Sunday that it was announced that um, for our year-end project we were going to provide a, a vehicle or transportation for somebody, it just really sparked something inside of me. Earlier in September I had sold my home in Ottawa and for a handsome profit and I knew that I had to give back to God for having blessed me in this way, or actually blessed my husband and I. My husband, David, is in long-term care because of his Parkinson's, and he no longer can drive. And so as a tribute for him, I wanted to make a gift to help somebody else have the ability to drive. Um, and my husband definitely had the gift of giving. It says in Romans 12, verse 6 and 8, it says to give generously. And so that's what I hope to do, is to be able to provide a gift to someone who needed transportation. Uh, I'm Lori Stanford. And I'm Ben Stanford, and we've been going to Southgate for about five years now, and we have four kids. Um, the main reason for us wanting to give, from my perspective anyways, is that um, we were able to. Um, we have had a dream over the last 13 years for ourselves of starting our own business and that's given us um, incredible blessings and we just felt that we were able to give back um, because of that dream that we had and we were just yeah wanting to give back for someone else's. And part of, part of why we love giving is um, sometimes we were on the receiving end of giving and for us, uh, at times we really needed it in our life and some of it was a surprise. God has given us so much and I just, I do love that it was kind of like a surprise or like a secret, like no one really knew what we were giving for, but it was just really awesome to be able to get together and see how much we could raise and I think it's just phenomenal that we were able to do that and I just, yeah, I love that through us, God has helped someone's dream come true and uh, it's just truly amazing that we were able to be part of it. My name is Brittany Ernst, I work as an accountant and I live in VARS. Chrissy and I met probably four years ago at Southgate's Young Adults Group. Um, she was just starting to come at that point. At the beginning we just kind of connected. Uh, she was new to the group and, and uh, I reached out to her and then found out that she was a single mom and we connected on that level. I was able to come alongside her kids and get to know her kids and, and her in that capacity. And, uh, and then, yeah, just kind of God grew that from there. Um, so Chrissy's a single mom, like I mentioned. Uh, she's got three beautiful kids. Um, Ruth is seven, Teddy's three, and Rosie's one. And uh, as a mom, she needs space to be able to drive her kids around to various things. Um, she right now has a small car and uh, a van will be a huge blessing to her. Um, Chrissy's a very generous person. She loves to uh, give to other people. She's actually currently working on a homeless ministry as she herself was homeless um, several years ago. Uh, she's, she's grown and been able to um, overcome a lot and she's want, she wants to be able to bless other people with that and provide hope to other people with that as well. Hi, we're the Lewises, Chris and Rick. Hi, we are Chrissy's uh, grandparents. Um, we've seen Chrissy go through a lot in her life. And uh, a few years ago, she was uh, down and out and she'd lost her daughter and she's come so far since then. Uh, she's. Uh, been through several programs. She's completed her high school education and graduated, and she's done one year of college until COVID hit, and she's planning to go back in the fall. She could finish up her dream of becoming a counselor for 
uh, mental wellness and ment or, uh, drug addiction. The drug addiction and mental wellness is something she is extremely passionate about. Um, she was on the streets for a period of time during um, her younger years, um, addicted to drugs, and now she has been able to uh, get herself out of that situation and she wants to get back to those that are in there right now. Uh, we feel that Chrissy needs a new van. We know she's been looking for one, but at the present time can't afford one. Um, she needs more space. Right now, the children are uh, pretty crowded in the car. And with her, this new ministry of hers, she just doesn't have the space um, to transport items down to Brockville or wherever she's going to distribute them. Hi, I'm Courtney from BD Dodge. Uh, Southgate has approached us to help provide transportation for somebody in our community who's doing great things. Well, um, we want to like support what you're doing and I think like what you've done is like really great work and um, and like we're proud of you and I know like you um, it's been like a long road uh, for you and kind of relating getting the burden like we talked about like feeling God giving you that burden of um, you know, helping people out and providing and whatever and it's coming from like a place that you've you've been and we wanted to you know help you to continue to support that and we wanted to uh, to bless you and so we we do have like a surprise for you and uh, <laughs> and so it's just gonna it's gonna come around the corner here and so we can look over here and we'll we'll check out what we have for you and we have come together and we have bought you uh, a minivan